miles per hour versus kilometers per hour. Every country has its own way of measuring distance. Here in America, we use miles per hour. I can remember back to the 1980s when our family had a car that had both in it. You could switch it back and forth. I had somebody in the back seat and I would inadvertently switch the miles per hour over to kilometers. And then the person in the back seat would go, Hey, why are you driving 100? When 100 is actually only 62 miles per hour. Have you ever tried to figure out the other country's way of measurement? Like I know it's 550 miles from here in North Carolina to where I used to live up in Pennsylvania. But how many kilometers is it? How many kilometers is it to the local store where I get coffee? See, it just opens up a whole new world, knowing about miles per hour and kilometers per hour. And our kilometer people in Great Britain, <coughs> excuse me, and Australia, can do the same with miles. They look at a trip they're taking, and they're like, wow! This is only a thousand miles away. But you know, in their country, it's 1,600 kilometers. And that's a long, long way. <coughs> huh. I think I got a Cheerio stuck in my throat. But anyhow, let's hear some of your miles versus kilometers per hour story. I wonder if a policeman would write a speeding citation to a person from Australia in kilometers so they know exactly how fast they were going. These questions are yet to be pondered. Thank you for allowing me to bore you. Have a great day. Bye.